Kia ora koutou katoa. Labour's promising to permanently pay businesses $500 a month for apprentices if they're re-elected. It was Chris Hipkins' big pitch to his party faithful in Wellington today as he switched gear into election mode. But as political editor Jenna Lynch explains, the policy back down from the other side may have backed Labour into a tricky corner. Mr Chippy turned Mr Whippy. Here we go, enjoy. <laughs> Handing up free ice creams for the chippy cheerleaders. After his lights, drums, action. Here comes Hipkins' moment. New leader, new theme tune. LMNOP's Baby Come On. Not that he was familiar. Is Chris Hipkins an LMNOP fan? What? Is Chris Hipkins an LMNOP fan? Closet LMNOP fan? Why, why do you ask that? He just walked out to the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Beginning election season with the Labour Party faithful. We are ready for the tough battle in October, so bring it on! And a classic Labour policy, Apprentice Boost. Today I can announce that if re-elected, Labour will make the Apprenticeship Boost programme permanent. The scheme was introduced during the 2020 COVID crisis. It pays employers $500 a month for the first two years of an apprenticeship to support training employees. That's more plumbers, builders, mechanics, engineers, hairdressers, drain layers, gas fitters, welders, panel beaters and sparkies. It wasn't a very fresh idea for a fresh leader for a policy. Apprenticeships are incredibly important and I think we've undervalued apprentices and apprenticeships in the past. But today wasn't necessarily And Hipkins is willing to go where Jacinda Ardern wouldn't, on the attack. For all New Zealanders, not just the wealthy few who are sinking millions of dollars into National and Act. Cutting deeper. They pulled the rug out from under New Zealand's future. And deeper. That only the weakest of leaders seek to use race relations as a wedge to stoke fear and division. Topped off with his attack line du jour. The coalition of cuts... National Today cutting the tie that bound them on housing, U-turning on housing density rules the two major parties worked on together. We've always said we would listen to sensible changes and it's been clear from both councils and communities up and down the country that there are some changes that we can make. I think it's a U-turn, I think it's a flip-flop, I think it's all of those things. This is actually walking away from legislation that, that they had a hand in writing. The law passed last year allows for property owners to build three-storey townhouses three deep without requiring a consent. It was the anti-NIMBY moment. An emphatic yes to housing in our backyards. Part drafted by Nationals then housing spokeswoman, now Deputy Leader Nicola Willis, scuppered by her boss. The medium density rules were a big improvement on the status quo and this policy is a big improvement on that. And Labour might yet back away too. The government's position remains that it would be better to have a bipartisan approach to these things because actually giving certainty around the regulatory environment for building new houses is going to result in more houses being built faster. Serving up a taste of what's on offer come October. Gina, what was the vibe like for Chris Hipkins as compared to Jacinda Ardern? Arguably the biggest cheer in the room today was actually for Jacinda Ardern. She wasn't in the room herself, but Chris Hipkins gave her a gushing thank you for her time at the top, and the crowd was absolutely rapturous in their applause for that. His own reception, nowhere near the levels of hype that we saw around Jacinda Ardern, even among that Labour loyalist crowd. Hipkins gave us a little bit more insight into who he is, his upbringing, his parents today, and how that drives his values as a politician. But Today, what we really saw was the two sides of this election story. Labour leaning on an old, successful idea with its apprenticeship policy, not wanting to rock the boat, letting this month's budget breathe a bit and trying to paint itself as the stable, familiar government, while Nationals really leaning into that change narrative, even going as far as changing its own policy to try and differ itself from the current crowd. Gina, tēnā koe.